आंटी आप अपने आप को म्यूट करके रीडिंग शुरू कर सकते हैं आंटी जय गुरु जी डिटैचमेंट when intense love is awakened all worldly desires are obliterated and one automatically becomes detached from the world and everything in it no desire remains for anything in this world or next in this state when the mind is free from all these desires and longs to meet the and the longing and the love thus created is called detachment in this state all the attachment for the world vanishes and the mind passing urge to be with the lovers of god and away from the world a detached person is indifferent in every non essential object of the world and runs only after the beloved who is the almighty father true detachment consists in accepting the material comforts as well as the necessities of life merely to extend of the useful Ness for life, while realizing them to be only the means and not of the goal. A truly detached person lives in this world, but does not become entangled in it. He does not consider it necessary to leave the world in order to rise above it. He sees the presence. Guru in everything. To be detached is to make one's soul and mind free from desires and attachments from anything in this world or the next. Those who try to become detached without fully realizing its implementations. cannot be happy or peaceful such people are at least in the world one should therefore enter into the activities of the world in name only and should connect his soul with simran the guru and god then he should continue increasing his love for them every day his love for the world will decrease in the same extent as his love for the guru increases there is a difference between detachment and renunciation detachment is not dependent upon renunciation but detachment is only dependent upon renunciation can be detached even while he is leading a household life whereas one who has renounced may be devoid of the wealth of detachment detachment is absolutely necessary in order to achieve spirituality a seeker becomes eligible for true detachment by meeting a guru and by devotion to him it is necessary for him to leave his heart heart and hope he becomes detached when he tastes the excel of soul's love and then all other attachments becomes insipid he lives in the world but is not attached to it
the Guruji's impact to the devotee, the secrets of Surat, Shabbat, Yog, and teacher, and teaches him how to practice in this world and how to remain detached from the world. The disciple is then able to achieve salvation even while engaged in the activities of life in the world. The saints did not renounce domestic life. They performed their worldly duties and remained truly detached to the grace of divine. Thy disciple can accomplish all that only through his love for the Guru and by remaining indifferent towards the world. If one has a strong longing to meet the Lord and is deeply engaged in this pursuit, so much so that he feels it is impossible for him to live without the fulfillment of this longing and all his connections with the world are loosened and we may be called a detached person. One should only be attached to be detached. That is the gist of this. Grace of Almighty going down to the Guruji's look. The root cause of misery lies in the fact of one's attachment. We are caught by whatever we do in our ability to detach ourselves from everything. We must reserve the power to remain detached from all the things however precious they may be, or however precious they may be, or however precious one may yearn for them. Guruji says, whenever one, whenever one asserts a little ego, I, as doing things, one assures the unending role of an ever active agent responsible for his actions and is caught in the intricate net of transmigration. The elimination of ego is then the only ready remedy for liberation from the unending cycle of births and deaths. It is clear test of spiritual current or diffuse in the world. All labor undergo for total self-enforcement is an effort in the right direction. It is called this imprisonment of the soul from the facts of life or this this enfranchisement from all in world. In a word, the secret lies in depersonalizing the soul of all that is personal in it. And then one strives in the root of the ego. Grace Almighty going down to the lotus feet. We should not get imprisoned, 
imprisonment and anything, but we should detach ourselves from everything. Slowly and steadily. We cannot detach ourselves all of a sudden. It takes time. Like we buy a new dress, we are attached to it. And then after we are using it for two, three times, then that detachment comes in it. And we keep that aside. In the same way, it should be our mind and heart should be detached from the attachments. What is wealth? Lord chooses to distribute freely. How much we use it. Guruji lovingly implores us to ponder. Love must transform all relationships social, economic, educational, prof professional, family, religious, legal, and others. The father must love the child a little more intensively and intel intelligently. The mother must spread love to all who come within her influence. Children must love servants. The sense of equality that everyone is the respiratory of the divine essence must transmute social and individual behavior. You call me embod embodiment of divine love. You will not be wrong. Prerna, love is a wealth that I live and I scatter it around among the miserable and appreciated. I have no other riches. The grace of Guruji is always flowing like the electric current through the wire. Fix a bulb and the current to the extent of the weightage will eliminate your home. The bulb is the spiritual exercise and you perform. The home is your heart. Come to me gladly. Dive into the sea and discover the depth. There is no use dipping near the shore and swearing that the sea is shallow and has no pearls. Dive deep and you will secure your desire. Here yeah, Guruji has compared himself as the current which is flowing the electricity. It is our ability how much what bulb we put and how much how much we eliminate our soul. In the same way, sea is very deep. When we are at, at the shore, we cannot measure the depth of the sea. We have to go deep into it to find the pearls. In the same way, when we are at the shore, we don't get anything. But when we divine with the love, with our Guruji, 
we go deep into his preachings, deep into his love, deep into his blessings, similar meditation, and then we get the pearls out of the sea. We get Guru Ji blesses us what we call. Keeping a positive attitude, keeping a positive no matter what is happening around us, we must remember that we are individual destiny individuals. Destiny has already been planned and only that which has been written will take place in our lives. Very true. Our destiny is planned in our mother's womb itself. If we have been blessed by a guru, then our guru is in total charge of what is happening to us now and what will happen to us in future. So we should try not to worry. He will never give us more than we can handle. In the beautiful reply, when a civic was complaining about his bad circumstances. Guruji said, you have to remember that this world is not bad, bed of roses for anyone. If this world has been a place of misery or trials or turbulence, turbulations, no one will have thought of going back to the Lord. Very true. Misery, troubles, all make us remember the Lord. There are only lies permanent peace and bliss. Your destiny, which is, which is the result of the past karma, has to be undergone. And from that destiny, no one can escape, not even deities, incarnations, and get founders of faith. This is the law of the karma, is supreme. But this does not mean that you should not make effort and resign yourself helplessly to present conditions, to work hard, to make effort in different directions is man's duty. He is not to yell, especially to the circumstances and conditions. He has to give a good fight and try to attain victory over adverse conditions. Never give up hope. You do not know what the future holds for you. Times never remain the same. Behind every cloud, the sun is still shining. It is in such matters of trial that the grace of Guruji is also at your back. Have faith in him and believing in him, do your best. Look around you, how much misery there is. There are thousands of worse off than 
looking at them. Thank Guruji for all he has given you. Has everyone the gift of Seva? Are you going to ask from the eternal cycle of birth and death? Then this is going to be your privilege. So be brave and cheerful. A wonderful reply, full of encouragement and positivity. We should remember Guruji's words when we are going through the trials and tribulations in our lives. After a tunnel, there is a light. We get these took the cliff because we have to remember our God. If we don't have all this, we will never think that some divine power exists at all. Jay Guruji, in the beautiful picture of Guruji, smiling, a beautiful smile, and gorgeous dress. And if you see deep into his eyes, you can see the entire universe yourself. Jay Guruji, don't criticize people. Correct them with respect. We hold the purest intention for everyone, but we project our frustration by criticizing people when they are not our way. Criticism has vibrations of anger or rejections as a part from creating hurt in one being criticized depletes our inner power. When we criticize, your spiritual power, which you have collected so much with your penance and with your pious, because your pious, your penance is there. So you collect the inner power which Guruji grants you. If you criticize people, I mean to glee, then everything is depleted. If we remain stable and give the same feedback, it is benish, beneficial. Have you been in an interaction where you have given the finest of the feedbacks possible, yet the other person understood it as criticism and rejection. Leave it aside as a bad memory, as a bad dream, and move forward. Don't think of that person anymore. If your instructions or suggestion often Taught to be harsh and insulting, does that make you stop advising people as you are unsure how to rely, relay it affectionate, effectively? When giving feedback, how we say it matters more than what we say. Depends upon our thoughts, our tone of life, our speech, and the words we use should be very, should not be hard, but they should be very soft. 
लाइक बुड्ढी के बाल जोट वेन गिविंग फीडबैक हाउ वी से इट मैटर्स मोर देन वॉट वी से intentions intentions for family friends and colleagues is pure but we need to take care of our energy when conveying the feedback if we are crucial the other person becomes defensive depleted and hurt that's what guru sit said A B C is a perfect mat karo. Don't do that. He holds us responsible for the pain, and the negativity radiates back to us. Yes, it is the law of cause and effect. What you give, you get back. Criticism is emotional abuse. it targets the person and really focus on the act we need to give feedback with an energy of understanding love and respect so that the other person accept it and becomes willing lead to transform the next time people behave or work in different ways which do not match our definition or right empower them speak softly use few words and guide them remind yourself i empower people with my polite and helpful feedback you get stuck up persons at a time which don't want to burn understand about anything understand still our trials should be there i create a transformation and on the basis yes accept people and punish criticism accept the other person however the way it is he is yes. bring changes in him and with your love and affection that person will definitely change by day shift from controlling and authoritative base to being compassionate and caring this we should use for our children once you stop criticizing you will increase your ability to appreciate life more remind yourself i correct people with respect and dignity i give feedback on the risk on the task that has gone wrong and help them to correct it grace of almighty going down to the guru ji's lotus feet affirmations to avoid mood swings positive reflections avoiding mood swings do you experience sudden changes in your mood from one end of emotional spec- spectrum to another with the slightest triggers throughout the day cannot always contrary situations but we can always i repeat but we can always control our mood to not get affected by every unexpected terms of heaven take this moment to see how you master your mood to keep it happy and peaceful affirmation i am the creator of every mood 
I take care of my mind and body with exercise, with meditation, with spiritual study, with diet, with reflection, with sleep, my mind and body are stress-free, irrespective of situations and people's behavior. I feel, I check my mood. If there is a slight discomfort, I internally detach from the energy of the scene. I don't let the scene touch my mood and trigger negativity. I silence my mind and listen to my inner voice. When you are perfect, do some meditation and hear shabbos and all that, your inner voice, your intuitive intuition becomes so deep that it will always guide you into a perfect, in a perfect way. I feel, I check my mood. If there is a slight discomfort, I initially detach my, from the energy of the scene. I don't let the scene touch my mood and trigger negativity. I silence my mind and listen to my inner voice. I decide on a response, which is right for my present and future. I return to the scene with the stability and response. I keep my peaceful and happy mood intact. My mood remains the same in every circumstances. I, if people are not fair to me in the face of my illness, there is crisis in the family. If there is issue at the workplace, whatever may be the situation today, I am peaceful. No, can, no one lives on my mind. I do not get affected by anything. I continuously release any pain and discomfort. I'm holding on to. I let go all uncomfortable habits. My sta stability lets me think clearly and solve any problem. I am the master of my mood. Repeat this affirmation a few lines to ensure in a world is not affected by events of your outer world. Your cons consistently stable good mood will improve your happiness, health, and harmony. We should be always happy, have a positive mind, just listen to it. Don't let it enter inside your ear. But, but, no matter what it is, but you should not let it affect your inner self. Jai Guruji. Hey, Guruji. Auntie, shall I 